hoping, just admit it See, I gave you faith, turned your doubt into hoping Can't deny it Now I'm all alone and my joys turn them open Tell me, where are you now that I need you? Where are you now? Where are you now that I need you? Couldn't find you anywhere When you broke down, I didn't leave you I was by your side So where are you now that I need you? Where are you now that I need you? What you're saying to keep you warm I showed you the game everybody else was playing That's for sure And I was on my knees when nobody else was praying Oh Lord Where are you now that nature? Are you now that I need you? Concert, past or present, who would you go see? Go on, Nick. I know my answer. Go on then. It's a pretty good tie between Taylor Swift and the Rolling Stones. Uh, pretty different. Callum? Probably go see someone like Eminem or something back when he was. Oh, yeah, like, that'd be good. Kurt Cool. I reckon that was his best album. That would have been quite a good I'd, I'd go to that with him. Or yeah. someone like Skepta, just to mix things up a little bit. I'm going to say Tiny Temper. Yeah, of course you're going to say Tiny <laughs> <laughs> Temper. You guys like the Swift? Yeah, it's just mm, come on. It's a bit of, I wouldn't say. If you could take anyone with you, who would it be? I guess it depends what you're gonna go see. If you're gonna go see the Rolling Stones, you gotta bring some birds. But if you're gonna go watch Taylor Swift, is it is it worse to bring a girl to go see Taylor Swift or to bring a guy to go see Taylor Swift? Like you missed out that one, mate. I think I would bring Martin Birkin, the engineer. I reckon he'd be fun of the night out. A Skepta, I think he'd love it as well, to be fair. As a crowd partner. Yeah, I reckon Fergie <laughs> would, uh, would be a great guy to take to a Skepta concert. What about you, Ben? Uh, I'd probably just take my mate from home, because he's a good laugh from Always Make Sense. What's his name? Let's get a shout out. Captain Love. See you, love. 
What up, mate? Um, how was your weekend in Spa? Um, up and down. Qualified pole for race one, but I had a grid penalty and then crashed. So that was sky high to sky low. And then race two, qualified third and got fourth. So all right points. Uh, not too bad. Good yeah. few positives. Yeah. Same here. I reckon P3, P2, quality, and then. A sixth and a ninth in the race wasn't spectacular, so we've still got a bit more to work on, but at least it's going in the right direction. It was a harder one today than yesterday. I think, I so. think for all of us. I think yeah. so. The track was a lot square. That made things a bit more difficult with the setup. Yeah. But, you know, it's a challenge of Euro Cup. It's what we love. So. How was it for you, Lee? I don't know. Uh, it was messy, actually. I started from 30th today, and like every, like all the first one was like uh, Eau Rouge, and then into Lake Holmes. There was like five guys off on each of them. So it was like, it's funny starting from the back because sometimes it's just like five spots, five spots, five spots. I don't know, it's pretty boring though. It's quite fun going side by side with Degosla through a rooster. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. Stayed on track as well. You're so awesome. Nice. Um, where do you see yourself in 12 months? Was that June next year? Yeah, not like UK first. Right here? <laughs> oh, hopefully it's Spa driving a faster car. But the yeah, sound loud sure. ones that are parked just out there, that'd be quite nice. That'd be nice, yeah. Being 3.5. Yeah, I'd hope to be racing here in 3.5. If see how we're uh, after hey, see on, how this year next year I'll be 20, won't I? Should be an F1 by then, shall we? Oh, yeah. Where do you think you can improve as a racing driver? Oh, jeez. Not crashing. <laughs> I've had a couple this year, so... Yeah, probably not the best thing to do there. What about yeah. you, Luke? I don't know, for me it's pretty consistently high-speed stuff. I think, I don't know, the two-liter car, I, str I struggle with the high-speed stuff pretty constantly. So. Quite a serious answer. I was going to say my warm-up. Oh, your tire warm-up? No, I mean my general warm-up. Oh. I get in the car. Yeah. You do skipping, don't you? Nothing. Which, what do you do again? I'm a full-on workout as well. Yeah. I'm a trainer. Oh, oh, yeah, I've seen you do it before. I don't know, I just do like some like arm spins and like uh, squats and stuff. But nice. There you go. Next question. I am I the next one? Whoa. Whoa, this is huge. Here's a big one. This is huge. Are you ready for this Ben? What's your greatest achievement thus far in motorsports? Go on, Luke. You go first. I have to go first? Well, such a long list to choose from. <laughs> so there's a giant list. Um, for me, it was basically the start of Monza last season. Like, uh, from 12th to 6th on, on the first lap, I don't know, it, it was a mega first lap, and like at the end of the first lap, I was like, yeah, yeah that was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> what about you, Ben? Uh, CIK FIA European Karting Champion in 2012. Ooh. And you're back at it this year, aren't you? Yeah. Gonna make it twenty. Mate, you won it once. You don't need to win it twice. Yeah. I was, I was the two thousand nine Bayford Meadows Mini Max Summer Champion. So uh, yeah, that was my uh, nah, probably finishing second in the World Cup in KF three. My second year, that was quite good. And you know, it's always nice to win. That's always an achievement. Any, yeah. Any wins, any anyway. taking cars, yeah. titles is always nice. I agree. Yeah. Next question is the coat. What do you think? is your biggest strength for? In general? Just, yeah, general. okay, just generally. Just, yeah, general. Do I have to start? I started the last few. Uh, I'd say my race starts, because they're usually pretty handy, and I usually always go forward. That's probably one of my biggest strengths. Well, I, 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 that's only a small thing, really, in the grand scheme of things, but. Yeah, that's, that's half the job of these yeah. guys, isn't it? So, so yeah, I suppose that's a fair one. I'd probably say my biggest strength is being quite stupid when it comes to racing. I don't easily lift out of things and most of the time I get away with it, so I'm lucky, but yeah, I can race hard and race fair as well at the same time. I have to say my eyesight. <laughs> Just, that's a, that's a strength. I think your PR ability. <laughs> yeah, my strength. PR ability? Yeah. 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 yeah but you're like a sponsor's dream. Yeah. <laughs> if there's any Canadian sponsors out there interested in uh, sponsoring a professional racing driver, here he is. Yeah. Also, my, also my eyesight is up there. And his eyesight, has got great eyesight as well. So, uh, How did you get into motorsport? Oh, that's an interesting one. Nostalgic. Rental car tip. Really? really? Yeah. Before your family was like, into it? Uh, my dad used to race stock cars, but 
and then I used to like have quads and stuff, but then I went rental car in and I was like, yeah, I want to do this. Oh, yeah. did you? I didn't know that. Eight and a half. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. When did you actually start proper diving? Eight and a half. I was eight and a half. Where are you, Chubby? Um, I generally it was pretty weird. I like had a video game when I was like 10 years old. It was Need for Speed Underground. And That's I'm, not really most boys, is it? No, 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 no. I had this game. I loved it. I was like 10 okay. years old. And I said to my dad, like, I said, I'm like, this, this is awesome. Like, kids have to be able to do this. Like, we have to figure out where I can do this. <laughs> and my dad's like, no, like, that doesn't exist. Like, that's just a game. And I'm like, no, no, I'm sure it does. So we found, like, a local, like, go-kart track in Canada. And I was like, I think I was 11 when I actually sat in the seat for the first time. <laughs> yeah, I started when I was 13. Really? Yeah. I really? started in Rotax when we moved to England from South Africa. So wow. I started a bit later, but, you know, what inspired it? When I was four, my dad took us to see some cars testing at Carl Army. We weren't like a motorsport family, but when it's an F1 car comes to South Africa, you kind of have to go see it. Wow. Well, and then it took me a good sort of like eight, nine years of begging for them to eventually buy me a go-kart and then started and here I am today. That's sweet. That's a good story.